Hello everybody, uh, just doing a quick um, dev diary video of a game I'm working on um, creating it here in the Leadworks um, engine and it's basically a survival, well it's going to be a survival game um, but it's really, I've only just started it and at the moment I'm just doing a little test scene here and uh, just to kind of test out the inventory system and uh, the core kind of ideas and mechanics of the game before I start building a lot of areas and stuff like that. So um, I'll just show you um, what I have so far. Before I do that I just want to do a, a, a shout out and a thank you to the guy who actually um, did the tutorials on the inventory system. Um, the uh, Project Saturn is called if you want to look it up on YouTube. Um, and I'll probably put a link in the description. But um, they helped me immensely because you know it would have taken me a long time to get where I've gotten um, in a few days without them. I can tell I can tell you that much. So okay, let's fire it up, start the game. <coughs> I'll show you where I'm at at the moment. Okay, so here we are in our quaint little abandoned town. It's really just not even a town to be honest. It's just two buildings at the moment. Um, I don't know if I'll start from scratch or build from here and um, after I'm finished kind of testing everything out but um, if I do I'll probably end up putting some houses and stuff over here and make a little kind of um, you know some places to search and stuff like that like um, so it'll be a small enough kind of little starter town probably so anyway let me show you the inventory system so if I click I press I it brings up the um, inventory screen um, might need to move that a little bit over but anyway so basically um, this is your uh, backpack and you can put different items into your backpack and over here this is your um, life stats and this is what you have in your hands which I've got nothing at the moment so let me go into this building here where I've put a few items and I've got um, three bottles here so let's pick those up gives you a little bit of text down the bottom okay so it's saying my hands are full which means at the moment you've got two items in your hands so what you need to do is you, you go to the inventory and you can see the two items that you have in your hands now you can either use those items while in your hands so you could drink it or you can drop it by click um, the drop buttons here so to store them in the backpack you right click on it and it just pops them over to your backpack like that now so that's pretty much how you um, store more items. Now um, it will probably have like um, you'll be able to find um, like a bigger backpack or stuff like that. So there might be more slots here. But for now, this is kind of what I'm thinking the start starting backpack will be like. And um, if you want to use an item that's in your backpack, then you just click on it, it puts it into your hand, and you can take a drink of it. And this one actually it gives you a little uh, tool tip as what it is as well. So is a wine bottle, a small unopened bottle of wine and this one is a bottle, there's no label on this bottle so I happen to know for a fact that this is not this is actually a poison bottle so if I click on that and take a drink out of that and you'll notice it's actually after um, Horton's life stats and if I wanted to maybe um, so if I click on this one and use this one it uh, gives him a little bit of water back there. So these are just test items, you know, I'll probably try and do some better items and more variety at the moment. I've only got really uh, one or two. So let's pick up the rest of the stuff. So if I pick that up, you can see again it's in my hand, so I can store that over here. So we go down to this end of the shop. Uh, there's some more stuff here. So we can pick these bottles up as well. Interesting. And if I look at the inventory, I've still got them. So if I leave those in my hands and I go to try, now I, you can search. I'm going to have it so you can search items and um, things like that as well. So this this crate over here, if you click on that, my hands are full. So you can't actually search um, through things with your hands are full. So what you have to do is um, store your items in your backpack. So just move them over to your backpack like that. Um, now if you have uh, stuff you don't want, say you, didn't, say you want to clear a bit of space, you can click on that and then just drop it like with um, pressing that. If you use it as well, it, it'll also go. So, um, but I'll click this and just drop it and get rid of it. And if I click on this now to search it, press A, I mean, and 
have a look. I've actually gotten two bottles out of that, so I can store them. And some of these containers can contain more than one item, or just one item, or nothing at all. Um, so if I press E on that again, i found something. Again, I've only got bottles in this at the moment, so it's pretty boring item-wise. Um, but it's just to see how it works, and so another bottle. Move it over there, and if I do a search again, you can't find anything, so there's nothing, so um, you can see that's pretty much empty now. So I put in the inventory, as you can see, I have nothing in my hands. So this is this is my kind of idea, anyway, of, of um, what it's going to be like. Um, some stuff, st things still to, uh, it's kind of actually, I'll probably have to outline this a bit better, it's kind of hard to see in the dark, so if I just bring this over here to the to the lighter background, you can probably see it a little better. Um, and you can see gradually these hunger bars and the uh, water bar are kind of slowly, slowly diminishing over time. Um, and you'll have to search and kind of keep that topped up with um, with things you find and stuff like that to stay alive, basically. So if I drink that bottle, oh, that was an empty bottle. Uh, this one here. I think I might have to work on these thumbnails, they're kind of blocking, I don't like the way they block the stats. You put one on the right hand, is not as bad, you can kind of see what it's doing more. Uh, and again, I'm not sure if I'm going to, I might get rid of that big thumbnail image and just have the text. Um, I don't know, it's kind of nice though, being able to see what you have, if, what you found, and have a nice like, um, big image of it. But um, I actually don't want, I think it's good, I just don't like the way it actually gets in the way over here, so maybe I'll, maybe for this one actually I should flip it over the other side, that might, that's probably a good idea. So that's it, that's where I'm at at the moment, with, um, I'm very happy with it, I have to say, because um, it's come together nicely and it's kind of, it, it's kind of made um, a bit of a, of a start of a game, you know, which is, which is good, like, um, so it's going somewhere. I have a monster down here. So let's just annoy this guy. Uh oh. Oh yeah. So here's a good opportunity. Show the. So you can see the helper is uh, getting hacked out of it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Run. Okay. So. Let's just let this guy kill us and get it over and done. So there you go. I have no weapons in at the moment, unfortunately. Okay. Bye bye.